Hi and welcome to your 18th C++ lesson and in this lesson we're going to do about preprocessor directives. So basically this is just a simple program we've got set up here and we already have one preprocessor directive in here. I'm just going to call them PDs from now on because it's a lot easier to say. We already have one PD in here so and that is this include statement. Now we know it's a PD because it has this little hash sign at the start or I think you can also call it a pound sign, but I call it a hash sign. So it has this hash sign at the start. And include is one of these. So what we're actually doing is we're including all the stuff from the IO stream header file. And that's nothing to do... The compiler, it handles that. That's not actually part of the program. When we're compiling, it goes, okay, and just shoves all the stuff from IO stream in there. And then it compiles the code. And that's basically what PDs are. So another one you may have seen this used is define. So we could define pi uh, 3.141. And then from here on we could go see out pi and that would that would see out 3.141. So define is another one. You can define values which remain constant throughout the whole program. And that is all handled by the compiler. Um, while we're on define, if we now said undef pi, that would then undefine pi. So if we now see out pi, pi doesn't exist. So it's because we undefined it here. So we have define, undef, include, and then we also have these if. And yeah, basically, you have... Let's define a couple of values. So, A0, zero, B0. Zero, and C as 1. So, we just have a couple of... Oh, no, let's just do A and B. So, we're going to go if A... Then we're going to set, let's make a variable C, just not a constant variable. And C, and it's going to start at 0. Actually, let's start at 3. So if if A, then C equals 1. So if it goes on to A, C is 1. Then we're going to say else if, which is written as elif, B, and C equals 2. else c equals 3 c out c and then end if so saying if it's a then c is 1 else if it's b c is 2 else um, just completely else c is 3 and then we're going to c out c here so if we just run this You'll see it says 3. Now, you may have been expecting it to do something else. But basically, any non-zero value, when you do the if statements like these, um, if it's a non-zero value, it goes inside and goes, OK, give me what you got. But because we've set A and B to 0, it just goes, no, no. And then it goes, OK, it's an else, C is 3. And then, over here, we see out C. So that is why it just output 3 there. So, we have define undef include if elif else and then diff which I forgot to speak about that just ends the whole if and there is one more which is uses defined but it makes a macro so what we're going to do here is this simply times two numbers together so we've called it macro one and it takes one and two as variables it then does one times two so if we go down here and we say C out macro 1 uh, 5 times 5. So that's going to do 5 times 5. If I just debug this. Here we go, 25. So that's a macro. And obviously you can do loads of different stuff here. If it's more complicated, obviously you're going to need a whole function. You know, you can't just use a macro. But macros are pretty useful just for small little things like I just did 
5 times 5 there, just with a simple macro. Uh, yeah, mathematical stuff macros are often pretty good at. So, um, that is PDs, or preprocessor directives. And they're pretty simple. They can, a lot of the time, help with if you're having, you want to compile it differently on different systems, then you do um, if this, if that. So you could say if that include this. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it. You'll see there are tons of people using it for tons of different things. But they're great. Play about with them and have a nice day.